Hello, my name is Joy Mandy, and today I'm going to be discussing how to build capacity for um, my substance prevention course for a class. Um, so to begin, it's extremely important to be able to um, not just spread awareness, but really locate and see um, how awareness is already in the area or the community that you're working in. For me specifically, I live in Kissimmee, Florida currently, and so um, I would have to personally um, really do the research, be aware of what communities um, have already had exposure to education about addiction, as well as what organizations are already prevalent within the communities that I would be servicing um, to know what resources are already available. Um, knowing those things also helps me gain a better understanding about the areas that need improvement when it comes to substance abuse areas. One thing that I have definitely learned is that um, Florida, especially in Central Florida specifically, um, there is a high rise of youth substance abuse. And that's really an issue that's getting more attention but it definitely has room for major improvement. Um, so one way to improve awareness would of course partner with schools um, in order to educate the young people there about um, substance abuse for one, especially with stimulants being the top drug of choice. But um, also in addition to that, maybe pairing up with places like the YMCA um, rec centers because there are neighborhoods that still have those um, that have youth centers see what mentorship groups are also prevalent and even linking with ministries that have youth groups and really creating atmospheres that educate the young people about substance abuse um, in order to approve the awareness that yes it is a problem yes it is here and yes it needs to be resolved as far as the like, stakeholders and how to um, address those issues that again would be reaching out to the community leaders those who have access and resources and really meeting with them even if it's a town hall or um, just a gathering of the minds to really put them up to speed about what the issues are since they have access to be able to actually make changes um, within policy with funding programs with finding grants um, I could think of a woman right now who's running for commissioner that I met who's already friends with a commissioner in my area. And so being able to sit and have coffee with them and just, you know, basically laying out um, what's going on and ideas that I may have or that other counselors may have in the area or health professionals on how we can curate programs to really combat um, these substance issues. Of course, naturally there will be existing partnerships um, within the community and it's um, important that they become strengthened even more. And a very awesome way to do that um, is to really one, um, complement what they already have. Um, and then two, maybe just bring in a collaboration between people that already exist. Sometimes in one partnership, those people aren't aware of others. So if I'm partnered, with a mentorship program, but I'm also partnered up with a commissioner to be able to bring them together so that we're a stronger force if everyone is not aware of who's actually already active and engaged um, with the issue. You kind of have people scattered all over the place um, instead of working together as a unit. And so in order to really uh, improve and bring strength to partnerships that are already present, it would be great to make more partnerships with what already is um, happening. Um, in order to find new opportunities as well would be, of course, networking, um, naturally going out to other cities such as Miami because Miami is the second highest city in, um, in Florida that deals with the same issue that Orlando and Kissimmee does with their youth being um, dealing with uh, drug addiction. So creating cre um, relationships in cities that are also working towards a similar issue, finding programs maybe even out of state in um, you know inner cities or places like Chicago or where I'm from, Michigan and Detroit, where they also see those kind of problems, um, networking with them 
and really seeing you know how we can assist each other what laws they had changed what programs that they saw work that didn't work since they already have groundwork and foundation and exchanging that information between each other um, in order to really gain um, a better opportunity for everyone because sometimes being in your own state you need to get outside of that in order to find better opportunities going to expos going to um co uh, conferences um in other places that have shown research that works that have groundbreaking ideas that can help mold um a new program or even upgrade what's already existing um and by bringing them on board with what is starting to happen or what i may be trying to build um, allows me to also freely exchange information with them that in the long haul um, opens up a bigger doorway um, of empowerment and a bigger doorway of opportunity for everyone because i have something that they may not have and they might have something that i don't have also as far as strategies to improve organizational resources um that really can be beneficial um to meet and really get to know those who have a hand in the funding um in my area again getting to know commissioners who literally advocate and get a, a choice and where grant money is spread meeting with those who work in the government the government officials in my city sitting down with them seeing the what's available presenting the information to them um to be able to see that like, there is a core issue that's going on and instead of investing money you know in a new park or in this area let's get some funding towards creating help for these kids let's create um you know a place for them to be able to get um, emotionally healthy and well and to have while they have the resilience to do so also um, really seeing what resources are there and in what way they can be used in a better way if a program has already used maybe a 10 million dollar grant and they used 5 million towards outside events maybe shaping differently the way those use resources are used so that they are better um, applied to the situation sometimes spending money more so in an area that is more like marketing can be scaled back in order to get a program that deals with fresh air um, and so going about it that way creating strategies that see look at the resources really neck pick pull it apart and really um, realize where the money can actually be applied. Um, things that really need to be done in order to develop the workforce would of course have well-trained healthcare professionals with the back knowledge to come in, put something together, educational, but also very to the point to be able to groom a workforce of people to know how to be empathetic and sympathetic to the need at hand um, with the knowledge to be able to apply it in the situation in order to not mishandle the population group that's trying to be reached um to prepare them for the prevention as well which is be really making sure that they're educated bringing those resources and bringing expert in, experts in with maybe even a training value to them um in order for them to know what triggers are what works what's not work what's allowed what is within the guidelines of the program by law what we have to what boundaries we must stick in in order to honor the resources that we're receiving um as well as knowing how to document make documentation properly to prove that our program works those are my ideas when it comes to building capacity